What's going on guys? My name is Rami and welcome back to another episode of RQ's Garage, an automotive YouTube channel where I give you the ins and outs of car knowledge. And yes, we are not in my normal garage today. We are in an undisclosed location in the United States. And we're going to be going down this list today and I'm going to give you five tips on how to increase your gas mileage when you're driving down the road. Whether you're going on a road trip, whether you're hanging out and cruising with friends, whether you're just driving around in the city, I'm going to give you five major tips on how to increase your miles per gallon and get the most out of your tank. And if you stick around until the end, I'm going to give you a bonus tip and how you can really maximize your fuel efficiency. So we're going to go down this list and we're going to give you all the examples that you need so you can start implementing them and your driving habits and you can start saving some money. Are you ready? Because I... Achoo! Oh, excuse me, because cause I am. Oh, oh, we got our first one, consistent driving. So let's go out and let's talk more about it. All right, everyone. So we have reconvened into my car once again, my beloved Acura. So when I mean consistent driving, I mean we're going to use cruise control as much as possible. So when we're going on the highway, when we're on a higher speed limit road, you're going to want to use cruise control as much as you can because that will keep your miles per hour consistent which will keep your rpms consistent which all of this means that your engine won't work as hard and you'll save fuel economy so try to stay consistent when using uh, cruise control as much as possible also when you're driving and let's say you're driving in the city you don't want to jam the pedal you want to slightly put pressure on the pedal to follow traffic let me give you an example so we're down in my footwell and here's the gas pedal so you don't want to jam on the pedal every time you're speeding you want to slow Slowly and gradually press down on the pedal so you can speed up with traffic. You're not gonna, the, the jamming forces are just gonna take more gas and it's gonna waste gas. So you wanna just keep a nice light right foot and so you can just follow traffic safely. And consistent driving is super important. So let's always keep that in mind. So now that we're back down here on our list, let's go for number two. Ooh, boom, there it is. Number two, close windows. What? the heck does that mean let's go see and we are back with another example so right now we can see my car and all the windows are fully open we got all the windows on each side and the sunroof so when you're driving down the highway at 60 miles an hour 70 miles an hour um you're flying through a lot of wind and fun fact for everyone air is a fluid when we're flying down the highway um and we feel the wind gushing inside the cabin it's producing drag and what it means is what it sounds it's literally dragging the car back so in order to keep our car running silky smooth in through the air we're going to close the windows to be as aerodynamic as possible what does aerodynamic means it means to run through the fluid as smoothly and efficiently as possible so if you can follow my hand imagine my hand is a gush of air down the highway so air is coming, it's breaking from my front bumper, swishing over my front windshield. It's going to go over the closed sunroof and it's going to go whoosh back down on the trunk and fly away. And the same concept is going to happen on the side of my car. It's going to just break through the wind. And since the windows will be closed, as the picture shown, it's just going to fly over the windows and go towards the back of the car. And so being as aerodynamic as possible, closing those windows. So here, right now, we see my windows are open and you can just see so much air will fly in and just get trapped in the back of my car and it'll produce a lot of drag. And we don't want to produce drag when we're saving fuel economy. Wow, so we're already two steps down. So make sure you close those windows when you're going on long road trips and you can save a lot of fuel economy. Now, Number three, excuse me, there's a little smudge. I think I got it. Oh, oh, what? Number three, inside temperature. What does that mean? Oh, I guess we're gonna go find out. So tip number three, inside temperature. And we're going under the hood to explain it a little bit more. So let's say it's a hot day. And actually today is a hot day. It's about 90 degrees here in Akron. And we want to put air conditioning in the cabin. And we want to make it nice and cool in there for the driver and the passengers to be comfortable. Well, air conditioning takes gas from the car. So there's actually an AC compressor down in this corner. And a compressor just pushes cold air into the cabin. So instead of putting the temperature on low, like 56, 57 degrees, we can put it in the high 60s to low 70s. 
70s, like 68, 75, a nice middle range where we don't use as much fuel consumption. We can still be cool in the cabin and still be as fuel efficient as possible. And that goes vice versa for heat in the winter time. Instead of putting heat on high or in the high 80s, we can put it in the high 70s or low 80s just so we can be more fuel conscientious. So we don't have to be uncomfortable in the cabin, but we can also save fuel economy. It's really interesting to see that even our air conditioning can take fuel consumption. So just be more cautious and we can save a little bit more miles per gallon when we're driving on the road. So where's number four? Oh, there it is. Now let's talk about drafting. So I'll be rolling different images about drafting while I'm talking about them. Um, so drafting is a technique usually used by race cars to reduce drag by driving closely behind another car. So in this first picture, we see a red, yellow, and blue car all in one line and a green car next to them. Now the red and green car are in front cutting through the air. So we see the clean air going from the front of the car and swooshing over. Now what's interesting about the yellow and the blue car is they are benefiting from drafting. So they are not cutting through the air. They're using the cut air from the red car to use less fuel and use less power to go the same amount. Now, by all means, I'm not saying you're supposed to be driving this close to any vehicle on the road, but when you're driving on the highway at a safe distance behind a semi truck, for example, semis break a lot of air in front of you and you can really benefit from how much low pressure there is behind them. So at a safe distance, you can drive behind a semi truck, big truck, you can even drive behind another car and they will be taking the hit of driving through the air and you will benefit from driving through the low pressured air. So drafting is one of the most important ones. And remember, keep at a safe distance. I wanna make sure everyone's driving safe at the same time, saving as much fuel and money as possible. Now for the last one, which is drive safe. Please be safe on the road. It doesn't matter if you're following all these rules or not. Safety is of the number one most importance. If you know me, I'm a big seatbelt guy. I'm very big on keeping your mirrors straight, following directions on the road. That's the number one most important tip any car enthusiast can give to you. Thank you for sticking around and seeing all the five tips on saving gas mileage. And if you have sticked around for this long, I'm gonna give you the bonus tip on how you can really maximize on that fuel efficiency. Now let's go and show you. All right. so. The bonus tip, one of the biggest culprits for taking away gas mileage from the average consumer, tire pressure. Yes, tire pressure. It's a really simple formula that people don't realize how important it is. The grip you have on the road from tire contact to road is so important. If you're even losing a millimeter, two millimeters away, you can really take away and detriment from your miles per gallon. So always make sure that all four tires are properly inflated to the manufacturer specification. So even in the winter time, even in the summertime, making sure all four tires have the proper PSI or the proper pressure inside of them that will really maximize your pressure and that is really the one that a lot of people don't look for so really make sure that these tires are inflated properly and there you have it those are the five tips on how to increase miles per gallon when you're driving down the road and i really hope you enjoyed that bonus tip too because it's it's a big game changer for sure i hope you liked this video if you did please hit that like button smash the subscribe button and in the comments below please tell me what tips did you learn today and what tips did you already know and tell me what tips i missed out on i'll be there in the comments i want to hear your thoughts this is RQ's Garage, and we'll see you on the next one.